This was a big change. It, it like it woke me up essentially, and it said there's more life left. Let's get on with it. It enables people to have more of a voice and more of control over their own health and well-being. It is building that relationship and it's watching people thrive. At the heart of the Empower Project is a person-centred approach. Listening to older people and finding out what really matters to them is key to helping them live life to the full. I'm an Empower Community Navigator. The principal role is to link in with an older person. Patrick had a stay in hospital and he came home and he found himself just a little isolated, not quite sure how to get back up and going again. Karen came along and said, even though you're in your 80s now, you can stay active for much longer, both mentally and physically. She reviewed her wellbeing plan with me and I've picked several of them and I've activated several of them. The community navigator's role really is to help support that plan. Whether it's signposting to various other agencies or information online, we look at their general fitness, sleeping, diet. And I get a new food supply every week. He was finding it very hard to keep in touch with his family, seeing them face to face. So we linked him in with an Alexa Echo show. Alexa, play RTE Radio 1. I can call and get phone calls from my family. And my son, he says, OK, are you walking a lot? I said, yeah, I'm walking a lot. Are you eating good food? Yeah, look at my breakfast. And so we can see my face and say, yeah, this guy is still OK. It always comes back to listening. That's the nice thing about the, the programme. It's really activated me. I now do quite a lot of walking and have an interest in being well. So as a community navigator, I cover from the very top of Lewis right down to the bottom of Harris. There is no other service like the community navigator service here. People don't always know what's out there and what's available. So I help people to get their shopping if they're not able to get shopping. I help people to find support to stay at home independently. I help them to find cleaners. I help them to find private carers. We do talk a lot more than just what's on the wellbeing plan. So you're trying to really get to know that person and trying to build a relationship of trust with them. Because we live in such a rural community, people can become socially isolated or lonely so much more quickly. We've had several devices we've been loaning out to people as a Try Before You Buy scheme. I've been supporting two sisters that live in opposite ends of the island who had not seen each other in about a decade due to their age as they're both in their early 90s and they've both been supplied with iPads and MiFi boxes. I've taught them both how to do a FaceTime and they now FaceTime each other every week on a Friday which has meant so much for them and it's done so much for their well-being. The difference is not even just to the service users but their families. You become that go-to person for them knowing and trusting that you're going to be able to help them put something into place or get something that's going to make things easier or better for them. People who are experts in dementia are the people who are living with dementia. Adam is about digital and me. It's about finding products for people with Alzheimer's and dementia and gives them a space to find tried and tested products before they buy them. All the information on Adam's product cards has came directly from our, our Dementia Circle reviewers. Adam's conversational questionnaire. It's like a, an online digital assessment in a way. What are you actually looking for the device for? Is it to maintain your independence? Is it to help with your memory? Empower were able to purchase the top five products from Adam, then to supply the families with that. I'm a carer for my husband who has vascular dementia. Karen came to visit me and showed us these tools to stimulate the brain, somebody with dementia. The clock, you know, it's simple. He can see it and he can understand it. The cat has had terrific impact on the family as well. Everybody loves her on the surface, a toy, you know, but she's more than that. For somebody with dementia, it's a marvellous thing, really, because they lose connection with people who are close to them. But see him respond to a toy cat like that is just amazing. It's been a huge boost to him, definitely. 
a lot of times carers' needs are overlooked and actually technology can support their well-being just as much. The digital side of things can definitely help people realise that they're not on their own and there's others around them who are struggling with the same things. Taking time to listen to the unique set of challenges faced by each person and finding solutions which help them help themselves. The project has empowered older people not to just live independently but to live their best life.